the meds, and maybe maybe it has some form of 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 help, but but it's real invasive to the body, and it can be, certainly give you some real ugly side effects. You know, our organization, ACVO, American Combat Veterans of War, got its origin because the VA was was having difficulty handling combat vets. True. A combat vet, if he did bother to come in, would come in and he was irritable, angry, uh, obnoxious, swearing, short-tempered. Right. And, and the pe people at the bottom of VA that received them didn't want to deal with this. Yeah. They didn't want to deal with it, so they call security and escort this guy out. Right. And we're saying, who in the hell are they there to help? You know, these are the guys that really need the help. Right. Not the guys that never saw a round fired at them. These, these guys were deeply entrenched with trauma and getting nothing. So we went in and we tried to take them by the hand and, and to our, our little office and sit down and talk about it. And they could unload and relax with us because they, were, they understood that they were with com fellow combat vets. Correct. And uh, it's, I, I really think for the first time we've seen, the world has seen the after effects of what combat does. And you know, you talk about World War I, World War II, Korea. Uh, what about the times when they didn't have weapons and they just co they had knives and clubs and everything like that? They lived with that. They lived with that afterwards. And nobody looked at it and understood it. Nobody did. And for the first time, we're starting to understand it. You know, it's like a new era. It's really important that we, we get a solution to this thing. You know, it really is. Even when I talked to the young Marines at Camp Hillen, if they had a problem, I didn't know who to send them to. You know, I'm not a therapist. You know, you say, well, go see a shrink, go, go to VA, and, and you knew in your mind it was, it was not a good solution because you had done the same thing and it was right. still there, you know? And so the frustration was high on that, you know, it really was. Yeah, you want to give them some kind of an answer. So, okay, well, we need you to be evaluated psychiatrically. Uh, you need to open up and talk to someone. You can talk to me, but, but I'll make you an appointment with a therapist. Yeah. And I've been through 15 years of therapy. Yeah. Now, I have opened up and I have seen some good things happen. But the reality is, is that I felt like I needed yeah. to do something different just because I didn't want to live with PTSD all my life. Yeah. So you're always looking for an answer. Something. Just something. Looking for something, yeah. And... Uh, you know, the biggest problem is you tell this young Marine to sit down in front of a therapist and he said he's looking at a guy that has no clue as to what's going on, what he's been through, what's bothering him. Right. And he can't put it into words. Right. So, you know, he's kind of at a loss sitting there. He probably, in most cases, get up, walk away frustrated, shaking his head and swearing and going right back to the same misery that he came from, you know. And maybe feeling worse about himself. Yeah, probably. And now thinking, geez, I, maybe I'm, I'm yeah. lost. I'm, I'm worse than I thought I was. And here's somebody that's professional that can't help me. What the hell am I going to do now? The only way that I can even begin to emphasize to the public or the people who never were into it is the suicide rate. Absolutely. And more people have died. The veterans who, who survived combat came back. More have died than the ones that never came back. You're right. Even in, in the current wars, the conflicts, there are more suicides. Correct. And I'm saying, my God, that's atrocious. And when you think of the number of vets that died at their own hands, what happened to the children and the wives and the loved ones along the way? They took terrible beatings. I mean, the human cost is phenomenal. It could never be weighed. And, and I've asked uh, VA, I said, what about our prisons? How many of these combat vets are in prison? And nobody can really answer that, but they think they're really high. Oh, it's got to be. Yeah. And it will continue to be that way with these new guys, the, the new yeah. war, this, this yeah. what we're going through right now. So which brings us to, here we found something different. You know, we, I know that you and I have both been through all of these people that come to ACVAL and go, I got a solution for you. I can cure PTSD. Yeah. And we're open to listen to just about anybody, but we're also very, very skeptical because we don't want to introduce anything that's going to make things worse for our warriors. Very these, are our, these are our boys. These are, let's face it, 
we take them under our wing and we love them. We love them so much it just it, it yeah. breaks my heart. I want to cry for them. I want to cry for them. You're right. So you were there the day that they, uh, Tom Stone uh, did the orientation, that first one that yeah. uh, I sat next to you and I sat and Tom yeah, was sitting. You were there too, yeah. And, and they came in and they introduced it and I said, no way. <laughs> I, I was worse than that. I said, no way. I, said, <laughs> I was a true skeptic. I said, this is too simple for a very complex problem. Right, you know? right. Uh, you can't possibly do it. In, and I said, Tom, I almost said to myself, I said, Tom, go away, you know, go find somebody <laughs> else. <laughs> Please go away. <laughs> but, but somebody was standing there, I think another uh, Marine was standing there saying, hey, it's good, it's good, give it a try, give it a try. Yeah. yeah. So Tom, right there at, at the introduction, took me aside and he said, sit down and give it a try. Right. And I said, well, what the heck, nothing lost. You know? Nothing lost. So we moved over to the corner of the room. And he sat down and he asked me to bring up one of the things that was uh, traumatizing me. That I had anxiety about it. Sure. Like that. And I didn't like to do that, you know, because it, it ruins my day. I hear you. Once I get there, you know, it doesn't go away. I, ha I have the same and, uh, feeling. And I tried it. I tried it. And uh, it was so, so brief and so simple. I said to myself, my God. It's gone, you know. It's totally gone. And, and this one memory of mine that had been tormenting—I had a lot of them, you know. Sure. There are lots of them. Oh yeah. But the one that was tormenting me, it was like I could look at it clearly as an incident that happened. But the anxiety, and I call it kind of a purplish pool of anxiety, and and something uh, that that arose up into me when I thought about it, I could destroy that. I, if I separated it and attacked it, I could destroy it mm. by what Tom said. But I was still skeptical. Yeah, we I have said, to be. I said this has to be just a, uh, you know, a hypnosis, you right. know, or a temporary thing, or, and I said it couldn't be. Uh, right. And and I went home shaking my head, saying, oh, "There's something wrong, you know. How could it be so simple when I've lived with this all these years? All right. I mean, right, how right. did it affect you? The same way I I. Uh for some reason, I, I I became real open to to allowing it to happen. Okay, I I want this to happen. I want to relief. I want some relief. I want you to help me. So I'm going to be real open to this. I'm yeah. going to let you know how I feel and 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 this trauma that I had and yeah. and I'm willing to discuss it and I'm also willing to to give in to whatever you you're going to deliver here. And I remember opening up my eyes, and I was with Barbara. You were at the other end of the room with Tom. They picked the two big skeptics, me and you. Yeah. And I remember smiling and thinking, well, I feel better. I have to admit that I feel better about what we just talked about and this particular trauma that I had. Yeah. So maybe I should look further into this. And I've been doing it since. Yeah. 